next up was Nile. Uh, Beard, we couldn't make it uh, under the weather, so Alexandra Manadic is uh, stepping in. Thank you. Hello. Um, thank you, Shreve. Uh, so, um, I'm going to step in instead of now to talk to you a bit about bioschemas. So, if you look, look at this web page, and if you look uh, at the bottom of the page, this bit here is a way to add some semantic uh, annotations to the page. So this semantic annotation in this particular case is uh, encoded using JSON-LD and it follows the schema.org um, uh, format. And uh, it is a way to add some semantic annotation that is understandable by machines and that can be processed. So uh, what uh, what schema.org is doing is um, schema.org provides us with a way to add this semantic uh, markup to web pages and um, schema.org provides several schemas, well, loads of schemas that define the type of information and then that information can have loads of properties and um, there are a couple of ways that uh, schema.org schemas can be encoded in web pages. You can use RDFA or JSON-LD like here or you can use microdata, uh, whatever, whatever suits your um, needs best. And uh, all major search engines now support and understand schema.org uh, schema.org schemas. So for example, if you, if you annotate your pages in, using schema.org schemas, Google will be able to extract that information. And then that information will be used by Google. Uh, for some uh, advanced search, so uh, you would be able to get more richer results by Google. Uh, Yahoo supports it, Bing supports it, and other, other search engines support schema.org. So um, basically schema.org is a collaborative project uh, by other people and by all the by community, and they have loads of generic schemas. They don't pr uh, propose any, uh, they don't propose <coughs> any constraints on the schemas. Thank you.